Hello everyone, this is Raven from Digital Integrity. Welcome to Technos episode 272. Xiaomi has launched ample amount of products in China. These products include Xiaomi 12, Xiaomi 12 Pro and Xiaomi 12 X. Now let's see the specifications of Xiaomi 12 and Xiaomi 12 X. It comes with a 6.28 in supervision display that supports 120Hz. Xiaomi 12 comes with a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor while 12 X comes with a Snapdragon 870 processor. Both these smartphones will be having the same camera which supports like 50MP Sony IMX766 sensor, 5MP of macro lens and a 13MP of ultra wide angle camera and the selfie camera is about 32 megapixel for both these phones and it supports 4500 mAh battery which supports 67 watt fast charging now let's talk about the specifications of xiaomi 12 pro smartphone it comes with a 6.73 inch 2k supervision display that supports 120 hertz and the processor is snapdragon 8 gen 1 and if we talk about the camera it comes with a 50 megapixel sony imx 707 wide angle camera and a 50 megapixel of super wide angle grid camera setup and the selfie camera is 32 megapixel where it supports a 4600 mAh battery with 120 watt fast charging these smartphones will be coming up with the new miui 13 custom skin now let's talk about the prices of each and every variant xiaomi 12 prices around 3699 chinese yuan that is around rupees 43700 for the 8 gb ram and the 128 gb storage variant and 3999 chinese yuan that is around rupees 47200 indian rupees for the 8 gb RAM 256 GB model and 12 GB RAM and a 512 GB variant is said to be cost around 4399 Chinese yuan that is around rupees 52000 rupees. The Xiaomi 12 Pro price starts at around 4699 Chinese yuan that is around 55100 for the base variant 8 GB RAM and 5399 Chinese yuan that is around 63300 Indian rupees for the top tier variant. The Xiaomi 12X is the cheapest of the lot with the starting price of around 3199 Chinese yuan that is approximately rupees 37,500 for the 8 GB RAM and the 128 GB variant. The 8 GB RAM and the 256 GB variant and 12 GB RAM and the 256 GB variant cost around 3,499 Chinese yuan that is approximately 41,000 Indian rupees and 3,799 Chinese yuan that is approximately rupees 45,500. Along with this smartphone, Xiaomi has released other products like Xiaomi Watch S1 that is costing us around 1,099 Chinese yuan and Xiaomi Pad 5. Pro for 8GB RAM and the 256 GB variant that is costing us around 3099 Chinese yuan and Xiaomi True Wireless Earbuds 3 that is costing us around 499 Chinese yuan and Xiaomi's True Wireless Earbuds 3 Pro that is costing us around 499 Chinese yuan the Xiaomi 11i Hypercharge will be the fastest charging phone in India with 120W charging speed. The smartphone will launch in India on January 6th and it is basically a rebranded version of Redmi Note 10 Pro Plus. The phone will be available in India in two color options. The new Xiaomi flip phone was seen in an application filed with the China National Intellectual Property Administration. It carries a model number displayed on the screen. It does not reveal any of its specifications but the patent images are available. Surprisingly, it seems to be the same device that was seen few months back in a patent that Xiaomi filed with the World Intellectual Property Organization. Xiaomi had a big event today filed with many announcements. Li Jian, the CEO and co-founder of the company has opened the stage with the revealing of MIUI 13, the latest user interface which will have an improved privacy feature and enhanced security. It will also allow multiple Xiaomi devices in one network to cooperate level like before. It includes phones, tablets, TV, smart wearables, smart home devices and the Xiao AI voice assistants. IQ9 is going to feature an E5 AMOLED panel with a 120Hz refresh rate and MEMC. 5G is finally coming to India in 2022. The Department of Telecommunication had made the news official via press statement. 13 cities across the country will get 5G in the beginning. The Apple New Year sale will be a two-day event that will start on January 2nd and end on January 3rd. During this period, Apple will offer a free gift card to customers in Japan with every purchase of an Apple product as well as a free limited edition A tag to limited people. This offer will be valid for iPhones, iPads, AirPods, Macs, Apple Watches and many other. Beats by DRE has announced a new limited edition variant of the Beats Studio Buds earbuds to commemorate the 2022 year of the Tiger in China. The new limited edition model features aesthetic differences to the standard model. It comes in a red color with the golden tiger strips on the case as well as the earbuds. 
another instant of the horribly gone wrong e-commerce delivery has popped up again. A buyer received a two dairy milk Oreo chocolates instead of iPhone 13 Pro Max he had ordered. The package even included some toilet rolls which the buyer claims stunk. The person who ordered an iPhone 13 Pro Max worth around 1045 pounds that is costing us around rupees 1 lakh. He claims that he had been chasing the delivery of his phone after it was delayed by two weeks. After waiting for this long, he went to the DHL warehouse in West Yorkshire to collect the parcel in person. He was lucky enough that he was able to collect the parcel there and luck phased out quickly as opened the parcel, he could not find his iPhone 13 Pro Max waiting for him. Instead of that, there were two 120 grams dairy milk Oreo chocolates along with the some toilet papers. IT Minister Ashwini Vaishnav on Tuesday took to Twitter to welcome Intel to India following a post by Intel Foundry Services President Randi Thakur landing the semiconductor design and manufacturing incentives announced by the government recently. Earlier this month, the government had approved around 76,000 rupees crore scheme to boost semiconductor and display manufacturing in the country. In a bid to position India as a global hub for high-tech production and attract large chip makers. LG could be designing a laptop with not one or even two but at least three devices. According to the report, the laptop design was spotted on the website of World Intellectual Property Organization. A new patent from Microsoft have just revealed an early look into the company's multi-panel device which boosts a trifold design. The patent was granted by the United States Patent and Trademark Office last week and shows a sketch of the device with two distinct hinks that opens up to reveal one massive screen made up of three distinct sections. When folded back up, the device can serve as a traditional smartphone and looks to be in the Surface Duo mold with a wide profile. Oppo has filed a patent in April 2021 in China describing three smartphone models, each with a unique secondary rear display implementation housed within the camera module itself. This patent was again published recently on December 23rd for all to see. Samsung Exynos 2200 with the AMD result will be better in performance and speed. The CPU increased by 5% while GPU increased by 17% and the artificial intelligence NBU by 117%. Moto Edge X30 will be launching in India by late January or in February. This handset debuted in China earlier this month. The key specifications include a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor, 68W fast charging support and a 6.7-inch OLED display. Realme C31 BS the model number RMX3501. The listing confirms a moniker and that will have a 10W standard charging support. Realme C31 will arrive as a successor to the Realme C21. This ban cannot be lifted in any case once imposed and Krafton has announced a zero tolerance policy. Players can no longer cheat using illegal programs in the game. Over just last week, Krafton has banned over 60,000 accounts. Krafton has rolled out a new anti-cheat update for PUBG New State. PUBG New State has promised stricter measures against cheater going forward. PUBG New State will get more anti-cheat updates in the future. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe. And follow DG Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.